Hey guys and gals, how y'all doing out there today? Do you ever have one of those knives that when it's coming in the mail, you just cannot wait for it? You're sitting there, uh, waiting at the door, checking, you know, the, the shipping or the tracking number and seeing, is it out for delivery yet? Is it out for delivery yet? And then inevitably, uh, go outside and check your mailbox like four or five times before your mailman has even been there yet. Yeah, this was this knife for me. I love this thing. I got this uh, back in early December, and I have been so excited about it ever since. This is actually now my favorite knife in my collection, and uh, I'm actually even going to be carrying this at my wedding in September. If you can't tell, I was very excited for this knife. Was I a little bit late to the party? Quite possibly. But, tell you what, I I'm, I'm glad I waited because I got the one that I really wanted. This is, of course, is the Mass Drop Ferrum Forge We Produced Crux. A little bit of a mouthful, but a really, really awesome knife. Uh, if you don't have one of these, please check it out. And, uh, alright, let's just uh, look at this knife. We'll get into it, and, uh, yeah. Uh, it does have a lanyard hole. goes right into the backspacer. You know, it doesn't need to be there. Uh, on a design like this, but I, I like that it is, and it goes right with the frame, you know, it goes, you know, just right with the shape of the knife, so you hardly even know, I mean, obviously you notice, but, uh, they worked it in well, they didn't just drill a random hole. Um, full titanium liners, and note, it, the color is not quite showing up, uh, in my camera here, this is actually a bronze finish, um, they offer them in blue, bronze, and regular gray for the titanium. Um, this is the bronze, like I said, just in this lighting, whatever, okay. Um, like I said, full titanium handles with a steel lock bar insert, and as you can see, the little Ferrum Forge design logo. Of course, it's never, ever going to focus, but hey, it's there. <laughs> it is there. Uh, also, your little mass drop logo, not, not big, and another thing, I... Not really a whole lot of billboarding on this blade, and I do like that. It's not like I don't mind, you know, a brand putting their stuff on there, but it's not SOG. SOG, 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 SOG everywhere, thank God. It's not like that. Um, this happens to be the Sabre uh, milling pattern. I really like this. It gives it a little bit more, just a little bit something more to it. The other one, you know, just plain titanium, which is great. It's a great tool. But this gives it just a little bit more fanciness to it, and I really like that. Um, this is my dress knife. I, I carry this, I, well, I carry this knife a lot, but I, I definitely carry this on dressier occasions really any time I can carry it. Um, I'm, I'm seriously considering just ordering a second one that I can kind of thrash on without wrecking this one. So, All right, flipper design. Uh, a lot of people said it sticks out a little bit, and you know what? It, it does. I admit it. Um, it's not bad, though. You know, it's Nick, Nick Shabazz, you know, Pocket Packer, you know, one of those. Uh, pops open real nice. That was a with push button. Light switch opens real nice. I did hand this to someone back at Christmas, and they said uh, they had some problems opening it, but I'm pretty sure he's only used to, like, cheap tack force, you know, spring assist knives, because, you know, it was just... did one of those kind of on him, and it's... You have to want this knife to fail to really get it to not, you know, open up properly. Because if you if you actually use that flipper, it, it, it's going to go. Blade, uh, 3.4 inches, and I suppose the, the overall length, 7.8 inches. Uh, or 7.8? Oh, 7.6. I have it written down here. Uh, I don't do stats all that often, so it's, I, I don't read up on it. Um, really nice blade. It is thick blade steel, I admit that. Uh... But they put a nice grind on it. It cuts very well. Was not the sharpest from pa from the factory, but that doesn't really bother me because I do all my own sharpening anyways. So I put a nice bevel on it. A really nice finger choil, and I have bigger hands. I have XL uh, large to, large two XL hands, depending on the cut of the gloves. But uh, my finger fits in here no problem. I'm not worried about cutting myself. If you can see, there is some space there. I never. Yeah, okay, it's there, but like I said, very comfortable, very usable blade shape. I mean, it's a classic shape, and it's nothing really to complain about there. Oh, I almost forgot. Actually, uh, milled titanium pocket clip. Um, I've heard some complaints about this pocket clip. I don't mind it. Um, I guess, what can you really say? Some people just like clips like that. Some people don't. Um... The best part of these knives, 
base model in either bronze, blue, or gray, without any of the millwork, 125 bucks. And note, I um, actually forgot to say it, it's, it's marked, you're probably never going to be able to see it on here, but this is S35VN. Uh, and, you know, it's wee knives produced, so you know about what kind of steel, or, you know, how good their S35 is. This, this is really a nice knife for the price. I cannot believe that they can get away with that pricing like that. I really can't. Um, you go up to ones with the milling patterns on them, they do go up to 150 I was willing to pay it, obviously, because I own one. Um... Yeah, no, it just I'll pay the extra money just to have a little bit of flair on it, which, uh, like I said, I'm talking about buying another one anyway, so uh, I, I just I cannot say just how awesome these knives are. They cut very well. I mean, you grab it like this and you're using it. It doesn't scare a bunch of people because it doesn't look like you have a giant knife on you. Um, it looks nice, kind of nice and small, but uh, it, it still has some good reach. It has a full full grip on it that I have no problem with. Look, am I going to want to use this as a tactical blade? Probably not, but how often do I actually ever use a uh, tactical blade, you know, for stabbing people? Never. So, I'm not that concerned. Um, as a main carry blade, I have no problems carrying this this at all. This, this, this is great. This is a really great size. It's not super heavy. Uh, it is 4.3 ounces. I think I may have already said that, but who cares? Uh, Really just a great knife. I, I I wish I could just put this into everyone's hand and just let them feel it because these really are just so great. Um, at 125 bucks starting out, it doesn't get much better than this. Uh, it's on bearings. It's, you know, full titanium. Uh, solid design from Ferrum Forge. Uh, just quality, quality blade. And, uh, like I said, this is definitely the, my favorite uh, in my entire collection now. Alright, we'll do some size comparisons and uh, we'll end this video. Uh, Benchmade Griptilian. Um, you know, not dissimilar in size. A little bit longer usable blade length, obviously, because this has the big old finger choil on it. Um, thickness. You can say it. The, grip, the Griptilian has always been chunky. It always will be. It is definitely thicker than this. Um... My ZT-0801. Um, not a bad comparison, I will say. Uh, the ZT is obviously going to be longer in blade, and I believe longer in handle here. Um, but really, just this was my first Thai uh, frame lock. I no, wait, I guess that was my 0562. Um, this is another great one that I really should get around to reviewing. Uh, I've had the, the new one just as good. Um, but yeah. And then actually... As I was kind of preparing to do this video, I came across uh, um, Kevin Clear, he, Cleary. He actually did a comparison between these two. And I was like, God damn it, I was going to do a comparison. Oh well. you know. Eh. Um, this is the um, Kaiser Kesmic. Really nice knife. Also a full titanium frame lock. Um, really cool knife. Very, very, very similar in size. Uh... I gotta say, this one, a little less blade length. This is definitely going to have, I believe, some more heft to it. Just because it is, there is more material here than than this one here. So it's, yeah. I'm pretty sure you just saw Klaus from the Scorpions on my shirt, too. Don't be afraid, that's not me. <laughs> I'm not just sitting here in a perpetual scream face. Uh, Alright. But, like I said, if you're looking for a great knife, a great tool... If that's, and if that's the only thing you're going to use it for is just a tool, I, I look at this as something that I can use every day uh, and cut stuff with it and also still look really nice and just give me joy. This is kind of one of those knives that I can just look at and be happy and just smile at. Um, uh, this is, uh, this is the, yeah, I, I, I don't know how to put it, so I'm just going to stop saying... If, you, if you're interested in one of these, just buy one. They really are uh, up to just about anything you could throw at it. Really great, and yeah, just, just, just go experience one for yourself. Alright guys, if you could, please like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff, and uh, I'll talk to you soon.